Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarker Super Quick Book Preview Show. This episode, we're checking out A Perfect Mistake by Melanie Conklin. Let's give it a preview and see if you want to read it. Chapter 1, Dear Max. It's the first day of sixth grade, and I'm writing a letter to my future self. Ms. Little, my sixth grade English teacher, says she does this every year. You write what you hope to accomplish at the beginning of the year, and on the last day of school, she mails the letters. That way, we can see how much we've grown. Honestly, I hope I won't have grown at all. I'm almost six feet tall, and it's the worst. People always think I'm in high school, or that I shouldn't be hanging out with the little kids. One time, this old lady at the grocery store even thought I was someone else's dad. Across the room, Joey's hunched over his tablet, not looking at me. This is the first time I've seen him since the hospital, since the night Will got hurt. Joey won't talk to me or answer any of my texts, and I have no idea why. He's sitting with Cam Montgomery and Elijah Watts, acting like me and Will never existed. Like we didn't spend the whole summer planning how we were going to start middle school together. Max, Joey, and Will, the three broskateers. Cam laughs. He's got something, a folded piece of paper, that Joey marks and passes on. Seat by seat, the paper makes its way to Samantha Bovella, who's sitting next to me. She glances at whatever's written on the paper and closes it, without writing anything. She tries to hand it back to the kid on her other side. When that kid won't take it, Samantha slips the paper under the edge of my binder. It sits there, like a bomb waiting to go off. The smart move would be throwing it away without looking, but I can't do that. I pick up the paper, unfold it, my throat tightens. Do you think the big kid flunked, yes or no? The yes column is covered in tallies. More tallies than there are even kids in this class. There's only one lonely mark under no, but one against a hundred is nothing. I hunch a little lower in my seat and try to act like I don't care, even though I feel like I'm wearing a clown suit. I don't know most of these kids. We went to different elementary schools. They don't know anything about me either. Other than what they see. That'll wrap up the passage preview. Let's take a look at a quick review. We see on Amazon that it has four and a half out of five stars based on 19 ratings. And here comes the back of the book blurb. But first, if you're enjoying this book preview and if it's helping you figure out if you want to read this book or not, would you mind hitting like and subscribe? It'll help me grow the channel. Max wishes he could go back in time to before he was diagnosed with ADHD, before he grew to be the tallest kid in his class and before he and his best friends went into the woods in the middle of the night. Max doesn't remember what happened after he left his friends Will and Joey and the older kids who took them there. He's not sure if he wants to remember. Knowing isn't going to make Joey talk to him again, or bring Will out of his coma. When the local authorities run out of leads, Max realizes that without his help, they may never know what really happened to Will. Charged by the idea that he may be the key to uncovering the truth, Max pairs up with his classmate and aspiring journalist Sam to investigate what really happened that night. But not everyone in the community wants that night to be remembered. A Perfect Mistake by Melanie Conklin is a mystery, it's about fitting in, and it is about a middle schooler dealing with ADHD. The page length is 272 and the audiobook is 5 hours and 48 minutes. All right, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of truth, is this book for you? If not, we have a ton of other book previews on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel. Click around and I bet you find something that you want to read.